it's just so fascinating and so exciting. Uh, there's not much else that truly fascinates me as much as mushrooms anymore. It's, it's taken over my life. I, I live and breathe mushrooms. When I was growing up, I've always been a forest boy, you know, I've always got the jungle. So I've always been used to seeing plants and, and this biodiversity that's all around us at all times. And I've always been growing plants, um, animals, got pets since, since I was young. And I think as I dug a little bit deeper, I kind of discovered the world of mushrooms. And what I like most about mushrooms is that I'm learning something from them every week. And after growing mushrooms for over a decade now, I'm still learning from them. And it's very humbling. After exploring all the different mediums as an artist, be it graphic design, writing, photography, film, the common thread is really the appreciation of nature. So mushrooms, um, weirdly enough, truly embodies that even though they seem so alien, they are actually from here. So it's the best of both worlds, I think. And this informs my practice as an artist and as a mycologist, a self-taught mycologist. And with all these different intersections coming into play, I think that's when it becomes interesting. It's not just about trying to breed mushrooms to get the highest yield. It's not just about making beautiful art um, sculptures with mushrooms. It's really about a mix of the two. And as well as the fact that it's also at the intersection of sustainability, which is something that is um, very, very important. Essentially, Bewilder is a design studio. We design with mushrooms, uh, but we also do a lot of research and development on the site. So we have come out with some interesting products like the mycelium foie gras, which hopefully we can uh, release sometime this year. And we are also playing around a little bit with mycelium leather. And of course, designing with these um, organisms is truly fascinating. It's, we, I always want to try to put them into a mould. It's essentially what we do, but, but they don't behave how I want them to. So it's really a relationship that are formed over the years with these organisms. By growing all these sculptures, it's really a way to, to attract the crowd, to make them um, look at it, to start conversations. They play a very important role of breaking things down, of being decomposers, primary and secondary decomposers. I, I do have a favourite mushroom, it is the common grey oyster mushroom, Pleurotus austriatus. Um, I think they are so underrated. I think this is one mushroom that is truly fascinating. It's even when, when, when there's no food for it, it actually is so opportunistic, it can even eat nematodes. It forms these hooks in its mycelium that can actually um, prey on, on nematodes, you know? And this is, this is coming from a primary decomposer. So it just goes to show how, how versatile these organisms are. You think you know it, but, but you don't. Mycorrhizal fungi are really important because they, firstly, they have a symbiotic relationship with trees. So this very relationship actually helps trees to extend their, their, net, their root networks to, to absorb more nutrients and water. And also at the same time, this, my, this mycelial network protects the biodiversity because it can break down toxic materials in soils. I think there is a huge emphasis on implementing technology in our work nowadays, especially in biotechnology. However, my take is that fungi are extremely high-tech. They're just very ancient organisms and I would like to see them as the high technology that is being implemented in our work. Letting these organisms be the high technology rather than 
than having a robot arm and harvesting and, and all that. I do have a message to share with the members of the public and that is to not be afraid of mushrooms even though that is still one of the other things that, that people are kind of drawn to in a, a very enigmatic way. They are both scared and attracted to mushrooms at the same time because they don't understand it. But that's the beauty of it. You, you, we should learn to appreciate these things and learn to understand these organisms and not be put off by it and go, hey, my, my bread is moldy, better don't eat. But yeah, you know, like just the history of, of fungi, like a lot of medicines have been, have been used, have been created with, with fungi. Everyday ingredients that we put into our foods like soya sauce, also, also requires the help of yeasts, which are single cell fungi. So they definitely, fungi definitely have a role to play in society and definitely has got, had major impact in, in humanity. So there is no need to be afraid of mushrooms. We just need to learn to understand these very enigmatic organisms.